Yo, what's good, beautiful people? It's your boy Two Bars right here. And Charlie, I, I tell you guys, I'll give you back to back to back tutorials on how I make beats, the making of some beats, um, live beat making, and all that. So today, I want to take you guys through how I made my own song, Handbag, featuring Nobo Music. And that song was made in like 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, like 30 to 40 minutes, honestly. The making of the beats and then the song itself was like 30 to 40 minutes. And you don't know, but nobody, a talented guy, actually. Uh, he, he, he really killed it. And it's getting maximum airplay on radio. And um, I think the ticket house stream, so it's not bad, it's good. I think it has like over 300 views on YouTube. Oh, Charlie, 300 views. Hey, Bissado. Hey. Promoting music, it'll be, hard. It'll be easy. It'll be hard for you. Anyway, so I want to take you guys through how I made the beats, how the recording process was done. We recorded everything in FL. And then I mixed it in Cubase. So, yeah, um, I want to take you guys through how I made the beats. Two Bars GH, BS Media, Twist Behind the Cameras. Play. Bars on falling. So um, with this with this beat, I started with uh, the I have a I, I got a loop. Um, I use a loop, and uh, it's a loop kit, and this is how it sounds. literally play like the major role in the making of the beats so after this loop kit uh, the, the beat the tempo of the beat is 96 and then the key is a major so after this loop kit i added um, a purity sound the bamboo sound bamboo from purity bamboo 2 and this is how it sounds So it's more like I actually played what the loop was playing. <clears throat> so it's more like learn it, like you layer it with the loop. So let's listen to the two of them. Let's listen to the first one. And then I add the purity. So it gives it that higher sound. And then I added uh, another purity, which is also a bamboo. So the first bamboo. And then this, the other one is the second bamboo. So this is the first bamboo. And it's more like the usual Afrobeat chord strike. Sorry. I actually added the metronome so that you guys would have a feel of how it actually sounds. Because I, I did play it according to the usual Afro beat bump. Bim, bim, I did. Bim, yeah. So it's, it's, like, it's like I'm off. And then from there, I added a, a, a vocal chop. And the vocal chop, this is how it actually sounds. Um, I reversed it. So this is the main vocal chop. But I, I reversed it, so this is how it sounds. So that's basically the uh, vocal chop. And then I added a morphine sound. Um, sound for morphine, it's, I think it's KBB glass. I don't know where I'm going to find this. Uh, no, let me worry. And this is how it also sounds. So that's that's like what's the um, morphine plays, and then I added an omnisphere choir, but I don't have omnisphere on this PC. I got my laptop, so um, I couldn't record the uh, the screen with my laptop. Because if you have any idea on how to record screen on MacBook, 
please help me out because I tried OBS. I need to install something, but then the system is not really helping. So please help me out. <laughs> so I had to replace it right now with an Nexus choir. And this is how the chord progression sounds. Just that angelic feel. Super sweet. <laughs> and then I've in every tutorial I do, there's this unique sound that I always mention. Do you know the unique sound? Well, okay. So this is the unique sound. All my two nexus, ambient three layer pad. <laughs> yeah, ambient three, ambient part three, and then a single layer pads. So this, like, yeah, my go to emotional pad. This is how it sounds. So it just comes where Noble starts singing. Um, uh, he he does this. I think it's a bridge. Let me let me say it's a bridge. Uh, that, that's where the ambience part comes. It just comes around that side. So let's just listen to the melodies alone. Let's go to the, the percussions. So it's just a normal rim, which I, I pitched it down. I think I pitched it down 400. So let's see the, the normal one is. So I just have to take it down 400 cents. And then another rim. So this is how the, the both sound. So I added this percussion, a percussion, I don't even know where I got it from. I think one of them contacts my beat, so I had to chop them. So it's like my own percussion. Yeah. So this is how it also sounds. So I played it on C4, so it has this low tone. And then the conga. And then another percussion. So I added a delay on this percussion and then a reverb. I added this reverb, um, the venue reverb, and I just pushed the words a little up. And then I added the delay, which is I think one over four. Yeah, so the time is four. So that's the delay I used. It's I think yeah. And then I just took it down a little. I took the volume down a little so that it wouldn't be too much. So. And then I added my conga. And then we go to the, the kick. So um, it's just a, it's a, it's a four by four kick. I don't know if it's a four by four, whatever it's called, but yeah. This is like a, some bounce. Yeah. So that's like for the drums. And then let's go to, let's add the melodies and then see how it sounds. Okay, sorry, I muted everything. Just like the beats. And then I added the melodies, the loop I got. So that's basically the sound, how it will, like how the melody sounds. Then I added a, uh, the 808, it's, it's not really an 808, but it's a, a bass, which has like the 808 feel. <clears throat> and this is how it also sounds. 
This is actually how it sounds. But this thing, I usually do it because I didn't want to use the envelopes. I didn't want to take off the attack and delay and then uh, hold and reverb and decay or whatever. <laughs> reverb, reverb, and decay, sorry. <laughs> so I didn't want to take the, all those things out. <clears throat> so what I did was, I'll just select, I'll put one note here and then I'll reduce the velocity to the lowest. And then I'll just select cut itself. So when it gets to the next note, it will cut off the remaining. If I take cut itself off, it will just play. Can you hear? You see, it's really, it's crashing. So uh, it's crashing and clashing with them. So um, this is how it sounds. That's all. And then uh, this is how it comes in. So that's literally how, that's basically how um, the whole beat was made. But then, I, okay, I've told, I've told you guys about the, uh, the vocal chop. Now let's, let's go to the rows and then the communities, the add-ons, the small, small things that I added. The drum roll I used, the fill I used. You guys know this fill is really common. And then there's this, um, one of the vocal chops. No, this one is not reversed, so. And then this riser. And then um, there are these vocal chops I added. And then there's another one. Literally, that's all. And then, what else, what else, what else? A, a splash, yes, a, a, a noise splash. I think I chopped these from one of, somewhere, I don't really remember. So that's, that's all, that's all for the production. So when I was making the beat, no one had a vibe, and it was just one take. So it's not as if he just wrote everything, and then it was just one take. Like, he took everything one, and that was all. So this is how it sounds. With the beat, this is, a, this is a vocal. Let me just play only the vocal. Uh, yeah. You could get the noise behind it. Yeah, when she cock it up, when, when she bend over, you know, I said it in set, you know, like, girl, butt to the bone, and she knows that, like, <laughs> mm. I could go be book, crow, 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 now my main dada. When I'm a bread bad girl, make a chop better. When she cock it up, she they make my hair scatter. They wire me to the be an amenia cutter. In the mo mo mood, straight from the hall to the root, root, room. Be like, say the girl, you do me choo, choo, choo. All open on my feel it good, good, good. Make me your hand back home. No, a lot of guys are begging. But I wanna be your begging. So it sounds like there's a chorus on it. It's not actually a chorus. The actual the, the actual thing is the beat was made in 100 BPM, right? So after recording the whole song, I just pitched it down to I just reduced the beats to 96. That is why it sounds like it's two voices, but it's just one. So if I increase it to 100, it will sound normal. I could go be bo cro 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 na my main dada. It sounds normal. I don't know if you can tell, but it sounds normal. Main dada. When I'm a bread bad girl, make a chop. But if I reduce it to 96. Main dada. When I'm a bread bad girl, make a chop. It sounds like there's two vocals, but it's just one. So that's literally the vocals for that song. So I just had to put like the usual reverb, parametric EQ, delay, and then a, a compressor, which I even took it off. Because I just wanted to hear ourselves while we are like working on the song so that's that's like what happened so um after after that um he just did some i i chopped one of the vocals and then i just duplicated it and i pitched one down and one up to make it sound like it's heavy but it's not heavy. Uh, hey. 
So it's just a trick. So that's where the ambience layer part plays. That's what he did. He said she wanna do it like me. She said, she said nobody do it like me. She can't get enough of me thing. So she wanna be my wifey. That's basically where the ambience layer part plays. So that's like a sum up of how the production went. And it's amazing. Like working with Nobu is like Charlie, the guy, he just is for there. If you play beats, any beats you go play, he go record. Any beats you go play, he go do. So uh, I'll just play the song one more time and you guys will just have to, you know. I'm not going to play it again. Go and check it out. No bow. Two bars featuring no bow. Handbag. I'll just put the, the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Anyway, thanks for joining and then thanks for watching this tutorial. It's two bars GH. Two bars GH everywhere on social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever, TikTok, ever. Two bars GH. T W B R G. Follow me, I'll follow you back. And let's, let's chat, let's talk about music, let's talk about music. <laughs> Anyway, we'll talk about everything that you want to talk about. So, yeah, two hours, two years behind the cameras, DSP, 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 DSP